Yes, y'all. Good morning to you all. I hope you are having a wonderful day thus far. So I'm getting ready to bring you guys your daily tea. Okay, so make sure you have Rusa all ready for today and you are open to receive this message that my spirit guides have for you. Um, also, you guys, I just feel led to just really tell you to smile. Like, just take this moment to feel the joy and also to um, get in that mindset of gratitude. Like, just whatever it is that you're thankful for, just take the moment to just give thanks, okay? Because um, today, tomorrow, the day after, is going to be a good goddamn day, all right? So, just remember, everything is always working out for your highest good no matter what it looks like in this 3d realm okay i know it seems tough i know sometimes you're overwhelmed and you're anxious but remember that positivity is what attracts what it is that you desire for yourself right keeping a high vibration is what you need in order to manifest the life that you desire you are the co-creator so the divine gives us the ability and the power to co-create what we desire for ourselves as long as it is aligned with our divine life purpose okay now i want to set my attention so we can all be on the same page energetically here thank you holy spirit thank you my angelic guides for helping me with this collective reading for mm, i'm not doing a zodiac this is just a collective reading spirit for my daily tea thank you for protecting us as we go through the spiritual gates to come in with you and closing the gates to anything or anyone that's not in alignment with the divine's will. I also ask that you protect me from any psychic attacks and any negative energies that are being projected towards me. Thank you for closing all communication to anyone who is against me or the Light Workers Society. Thank you for hearing me clearly. And so it is. All right, you guys, I'm going to jump right in. Instagram, make sure you like, subscribe, share. Thank you. Go to my YouTube, hit that notification button so you'll be alerted as soon as this video is available because I'm going to stop in about 15 minutes, as you guys already know, okay? And I might forget to tell you guys that I'm ending and it's going to cut off mid-sentence. Um, but forgive me, right? <laughs> At least you guys get to see a preview of what's going on here. Now, I may be speaking of your person's energy and it might be your energy. Or vice versa. Flip the roles as you see fit. Sometimes I do try to be conscious of that and continue to say your person or you, right? But however, if I do forget, you know what to do. I might forget to stop. Um, I might forget to show you guys the cards after a while. But once I get flowing, yeah, I just start flowing. It takes a lot of work to keep going. Okay, then now I got this, this. <laughs> Too much, too much, you guys. But um, you get the gist of what's happening here. All right, so thank you, my spirit guys. What is the energy for today? All right. Get the spirit on the key. Elaborate. I pick up on past, present, and future energies. Now, at any given time, this could be your message. All right. It may not resonate with you at this moment, but does it mean it's not going to happen? Or does it mean that it didn't happen already, right? So just think back. If it has happened already, it's confirmation. Um, but just know that someone could be going through this at this moment, even if it's not you. Now, I do have, it seems like this, uh, hmm. Oh, Okay. Before I even start speaking, that's why I was like, let me look at these cards real quick. Before I even start speaking out of my mouth, let me see what's happening. Okay, so I do have the sixth chakra card here, and it's in the reverse position. But pretty much, right, when it's in the reverse, this is about your own personal power here. Now, you're being admonished to get clear, all right, on exactly what it is that you want. Because you've been lost and you've been confused and unclear okay or in your thinking or distorted in your thinking now there's a lot of mental chaos that's going on here and it's been going on for quite a while is what spirit is saying and you lack your personal direction when it comes to a situation and i'm gonna get into that but you need to take your blinders off and widen your perspective here now you gotta visualize the life that you want to live and the person that you want to be and make that your intention 
okay you're all tied up in something so there's still some drama that's going on around you and the energy just keep going back and forth so i'm picking up a really indecisive energy because one day you know you have a clear vision and then the next day you're back into this confusion now the drama that's going on around you is stopping you from being able to move forward so whatever is holding things up which i already know what it is because i have my card here which is this third party card okay some of you may be just having too much goddamn fun all right some of you may be um in a third party situation but however it makes you feel oppressive you know so you ain't having that much goddamn fun with it because you're feeling oppressed by the situation here and it could be your own anxiety that's causing you to feel this way you have to really release that um in order for you to move forward here okay because you could be your own jailer in this situation seriously now but the envy card i do have here in the reverse position okay so this is a good thing that it's in the reverse because whatever that dissatisfaction is that you have or had is literally switching over into one of joy and appreciation so you're choosing to shift your focus or if you haven't you will be you're going to go into a whole different direction that is going to involve your own personal happiness here and um your own personal gratitude it's so funny how before i spoke uh, before I got this video started, I started telling you to get in the attitude of gratitude or, or get into this um, energy of being thankful, right? And you're shifting that. Your whole energy field is shifting and it's doing it in a dramatic way, all right? And it's helping you to attract more to yourself. So that's the good thing because that's how the law of attraction works, right? When you shift that energy into one that is of gratitude, then the universe can open up and start to bring you some of the things that you desire for yourself okay now continue to release whatever the old feelings of envy or lack um that could be there because you know we do have that residual energy sometimes just lingering and whenever you have these thoughts or emotions that come up in you that um put you in that energy of feeling dissatisfied or not gratified in your life then you start to remember everything that you are grateful for acknowledge everything that is working for you and acknowledge what is valuable within your life and around you right so that you can continue to keep drawing more value into yourself okay now i'm going to pull my tarot y'all already know how this go mm, thank you so i was told to pull another energy oracle card so let's do that So the door of value card is also here. So the door to whatever it is that you value <laughs> is open. All right. And it's creating some change for you. That's going to lead you to more abundance in your life, whether it's money, whether it's love, whether it's friendships, whether it's your career, it's all about your new beginnings here. And it's an exciting new beginning is what Spirit is saying, where you're going to be able to expand in your life, where you're going to be able to grow, especially when it comes to um, whatever you value, right? Like I said, work, money, love. However, right, this new opportunity that is coming in for you is totally unexpected. All right, you've probably been working on this or working towards this for quite a while, but it's just something that's going to just, boom, come out of nowhere. Okay, this is why you were really dissatisfied in your life for, for a minute, you know, because it's like you're working to achieve a goal and it feels like you're being set back, at, you know, and having a setback after a setback. But this is something that's just going to be like, bam, like, damn, it came out of nowhere. Yesterday, I was just feeling all crazy in the day. I got what it is that I was at, I've been working for or what I've been asking for. But so just keep your eyes open either way for this new beginning to appear in your life. All right. Now, anything that you value will come through this door. It's open to you now. So just remain conscious, remain creative, and get ready to step through this door, okay? Because it's happening for you today. That's some positive energy. That's some great energy. Y'all, stay in alignment with yourself, right? Because this is how you get 
to your new beginning. You can't you can't get there vibrating low. Definitely, um, the universe only knows and speaks of energy. So whatever you're feeling energetically is most likely what you're going to attract, or it causes it causes what delays within your life. Okay, so you're definitely on the right path. I got the temple path card here. So you are headed in the right direction and you're being guided by um, the universe, by the divine. Your spirit team um, is helping you on this path, helping you to close out karmic cycles here um, in your life so that you can get towards this door to value. And you're definitely um, tapped in with spirit or your higher self. Now... There's a woman of wisdom or understanding that's showing up in this um, reading. This could be you or this could be your person. But this person is definitely someone who has been thinking. Okay? Really thinking and contemplating. But they're very wise is what I'm picking up. Very intuitive. Now... This person is probably helping you to understand how you feel. They could be a teacher in your life or just someone that you're very um, connected to that is helping you to change um, your mindset and helping you to release some old habits and old ways, right? This person also could be a love interest for you um, who's very thoughtful and who's very conscious and aware. But however, right, you're trying to figure out how to get creative about something here because I have the second chakra card in a reverse position as well and it speaks of your intimacy and creativity there's a block when it comes to that area um, you, you're having a hard time here um, opening up to this new idea you want to but for some odd reason it's like there's a blockage there and it's all about those old fears that need to be released that's what's limiting you within this connection with this person here. Okay. Um, once you open up to spirit, wow, then the creative inspiration comes. So that's the next step for you. Really start to connect with the universe and your higher self and the divine here. Um, because that's where the ideas are going to come in at. Like this is a journey that cannot be done just off of your own will. You do have to include your spirit team within this um, because they, you know, really help you to navigate through it, help you to uh, overcome some more challenges and help you to get to the next level or next stage within your journey here. All right. So I want to get full tarot. Let me jump in the tarot now. We're going to see what's up here. Thank you. What's the message? What's happening? All right, so the three of wands is here in a reverse position. Ooh, okay, yeah, this is what's ha happening as far as with the creativity thing, right? Sorry, I got this coffee just stuck right now in my throat, and I'm like, come on, move through, and I can keep going. It's almost as if some of you are definitely choked up with your words. It's like a block in your throat chakra that keeps you from being able to express what it is that you're feeling. So you're having some difficulty there with your self-expression here. And this is where the limitations are coming in. And it's probably causing you some frustration here. But your you're, um, recovering is what Spirit is saying. You will recover from this. You're learning to cope with everything that has taken place in your past here. And especially this thinking woman that's coming through, this woman of wisdom and, you know, all of that great stuff. <laughs> We're going to say this wonderful woman here. Um, or feminine energy, you guys, um, could probably, uh, probably is helping you be transparent in your feelings, okay? Helping you to be able to um, navigate through all of this, right? So tarot is definitely confirming the oracle message, all right? Because you are confused, okay? There's some type of miscommunication that could be taking place. Like I said, you're having trouble expressing what you're feeling here. And... You want to take a new beginning. You're ready to be free from a situation and take some type of chance in your life here to go towards something better, a higher purpose, okay? Now, um, Instagram, our time is running up, so I did remember to tell you guys, make sure you go over to my YouTube 
darkness. You have been distracted um, by life, period, by everyday things, uh, past situations, present situations. Like, you're distracted, okay? And um, it causes you to really not put that energy or time into what is definitely coming in as, a, as important to you. But a lot of the... Um, I guess you could say that codependencies is what keeps you from being able to move forward. And it, and it almost seems like it keeps you up. It worries you about making these decisions because you want to make the right decisions. You're just unsure. This is why the uh, energy each day keeps fluctuating. It's like one day you know it, next day you question it. And um, it's fear. That's fear that needs to be let go of. The Eight of Swords is telling you that... You're feeling clouded in your judgment or you're restricted in some kind of way here. And you really just need to release it. Face your fear, right? This is the only way that you can, you can overcome it. Face it and take control of your life. Release all of this juggling that's taking place because it's causing an imbalance. Not only in this connection you have with this um, feminine energy coming in, but within your own life. Okay? This is where the soft doubt is coming from, is what Spirit is saying. Wow. And you're probably even being defensive or stubborn <laughs> when it comes to you getting your, uh, whatever this family structure is that's coming in at. Okay, because you definitely want to reach some type of milestone here. You're looking for something stable and secure. You want to feel safe. And this is why you're just in this energy of really, really, really being taking your time. Because you want to be able to know that you can have something that's rooted, something that's grounded, and that will pay off, okay? Long term, not only financially, but also where you can have that emotional and material um, comfort and safety. Now... This feminine energy is definitely coming back in to this reading as the Queen of Cups. So let's see what's going on with this Queen of Cups here. Tell us more. This person is very powerful and very intuitive, okay? They serve, serve as a strong anchor or a strong rock in your life. Like I was saying earlier, this person is someone who helps you to um, be very transparent in how you're feeling, helping you to really connect to your personal path here. Okay, now, they have many admirers is what I'm getting. What's taking place with this Queen of Cups here is either, hmm, you're holding on very tightly to this Queen of Cups. You don't want to let this person go. They're part of your goals. Hmm. Now, you're trying to move beyond the trauma and leave what's familiar in your life. But I can definitely tell you that you don't want to let that Queen of Cups go, right? However, you're scattered in your thinking. You know that you want them in your life here. You are putting value, a lot of value into a whole lot of things here. And what I'm getting is that you probably didn't do that before when it came to this Queen of Cups, whoever this uh, feminine energy is. You probably didn't do that. You probably put everything else over top of this connection you have with this person here. And it's like, but all along, you really never wanted them to be out of your life. You just were having a hard time um, leaving the baggage behind. Whatever that baggage that you've been carrying you have been transferring that over into your connections over and over and over again. Here. Hmm. Right. Five of Pentacles popped out. 
there really needs to be some communication here okay because you've been through a lot of emotional loss and through it all you have been feeling abandoned um by whatever happened to you in your past it creates a deep loneliness within you so a lot of um i don't want to say your troubles but a lot that holds you back is really because of fear that's what keeps you in this deceptive energy here where you seem to come across as being sneaky or you or you're lying or you're trying to get away with something here right and sometimes you can get in that energy when you're trying to spare someone's feelings all right now you're overwhelmed if you are the masculine energy here you're overwhelmed you're anxious about this third party situation because it's coming back out again i got an oracle message with the three three um of cups in a terrible message with this third party card so you're overwhelmed about that you've been isolating yourself or it's just that you've just been wanting to be by yourself right not really wanting to be in any type of commitment or relationship or whatever you just want to be by yourself okay now it, it makes you very withdrawn and you don't put much effort into connections because of whatever happened within this situation that you got going on so you tend to withdraw your energy and you t disconnect emotionally most definitely to keep from forming an emotional connection with someone now There's a breakdown or there will be a breakdown here. Really, the breakdown is, is here because whatever is happening, you feel like you're obligated or there's some type of burden that burns you out. And you're going to get to this point, right? Where you're going to get sick and tired of all the delays. You're ready to, to really find your voice, but you're trying to find or you're trying to have the willpower to be able to develop this vision here. Now, there's some deception. You got to rely on your intuition. There's some missing information. What is this missing information about, Sarah? Thank you. So the deception really... It's about you being uncertain okay and the fear and anxiety is what the deception is coming in at now there's some peace that's being ushered in into this situation here where um, it's helping you to gain a clear vision of what it is that you want so that you can work in harmony with this person here you got to carefully consider um, you got to be careful and you got to be considerate when it comes to love, okay? The will is turning. So things are going to get better for you is what Spirit is saying. It's like all of the hardship that you experienced in the past and all of the loss that you've been through, feeling abandoned and all. Things are going to get better for you. And you just got to make some adjustments. Just point blank, you have to make these adjustments for yourself and release, which it looks like you're doing, whatever this dissatisfaction is in your life, especially having these connections that don't serve you okay now you've been thinking if you are the masculine energy of my collective you've been really thinking and trying to figure out how you can come across with this communication um using your logic and your intelligence right as well as blending your emotions and your spiritual energies together you're very strong in your communication, so I'm getting your straightforward too. But however, right, you're controlling your emotions. You're trying to, right? You're trying to control your emotions about this. Now, what's happening? Oh, okay. I didn't even, I forgot I put this card over here. I got the Six of Cups. So you're having a lot of memories here. It's like nostalgia. You're healing from the past, of course, but you want to reconnect with this person 
in the same way you guys were connected before in the past but still this reconnection is more of something deeper is what i'm getting because you were being very lazy or very risky within this relationship previously before relationships necessarily doesn't mean you were together with that person you can have a friendship that's a relationship right but however because you were very uh risky with this person previously before you're seeking to reconnect with them on a deeper level, something that's more fulfilling. Now, grab my cards here. <laughs> Ten of Swords. Something happened between you two. Oh, got it. Two of Cups in the reverse. Your connection is just basically, it's an imbalance. It's an imbalance. It's un. It's uneven. Okay, and the only reason why it's like that is because you had these um, interference with this third-party situation on top of the codependencies here. You guys actually really do have a very close bond with each other. It's a strong connection here. It's balanced and it's equal. But you definitely see happiness. And that's what you're choosing here, okay? You're back on path here. And Spirit just wants to remind you, you know, there is so much joy and happiness that is coming to you because you're staying in a positive mindset. Positivity is attractive, like I said. And this relationship between you and this person is going to blossom into something that's going to bring you two closer together. You were blocked in your happiness pre previously before, which probably caused you to create these unrealistic expectations when it comes to love. Okay, so, but there's a lack of closure between you two, and you definitely feel like you're missing something. And you know what you're missing. The missing part is this person here. But clinging to the past, of course, is what stops you from being able to transition into um, completing this cycle with your person to get to something more fulfilling within your romantic life. Now, this is a very passionate connection I'm picking up on. Um, you're coming in or your person is coming in as the King of Wands. The King of Wands is very charming and they're ready to get things done here. Even though they're fearless, they still have commitment issues, but most likely to be very compulsive, impulsive. Um, is what I'm getting now. You or they pretty much felt felt or feel hopeless when it comes to love, and definitely doing a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking. You're probably focusing on your money too, right? Trying to build a firm foundation for yourself, something where you can have um, abundance, prosperity, you can have financial security. But also, you have this newfound joy or peace about yourself. And you are smiling literally at the fact of this offer that you want to bring forward. So you, you have this idea, you already know when you see what is going on within this connection and with this person here that you're connected to. And you, it's like a sneaky grin at this King of Pentacles has. Do you see that? It's like, <laughs> I know something that you don't know, okay? And, it's, and you're trying to build this firm foundation for yourself because of course you are a provider and you are a protector, right? So, <laughs> The devil card. The devil always shows up. <laughs> this is like your shadow self here. Okay. So, of course. Hmm. Why is this devil card here, Spirit? <laughs> okay. So, the Queen of Wands popped out in the upright position. And pretty much what I'm taking from that is like, there is an obsession remember i was like you can't let go of this person it's so hard you try every damn thing in the book to let go of this person and you just keep feeling drawn to them but it's 
some type of obsession that keeps you uh, attached to them, all right? So you want to offer them something serious. You already know, like, I'm not letting this person go. I refuse. <laughs> You're removing the blindfolds, okay? Or your person will be doing that because they've been very indecisive about what to do, who to choose, <laughs> just trying to be the peacemaker. But yeah, the truth is about to be, be revealed. So I, it's been saying that for the last couple of days. So it's getting closer and closer to that moment. You've been in um, your singleness for so long already. Just taking a break from relationships, right? And of course, when you do that and you're single for a long time, what ends up happening, you are kind of stubborn. You get to this point where you like, I really don't got to do this or do that because you're not used to doing it because why wow, you've been single for so long. Okay. So this is where the stubborn envy is coming in at where you're probably rigid, <laughs> just probably a tad bit rigid. Okay. And not really putting in the effort or the energy, not giving um, into the connection. But it's all about you fearing to change. So that's where it's going in at. It's just fear. Fearing to change is what spirit is saying. You got to deal with your abandonment issues. So you're getting, I'm telling you, I'm dropping the, uh, the key words here. Abandonment issues. This is a part of your shadow side. This is what you need to heal and release is what spirit is saying. Because you got to walk towards your um, higher purpose in life. Okay, and in order to keep going further, the abandonment issues have to be dealt with because that causes you to stay in situations longer than what you should, okay, because of fear. Now, you will recover, of course, but again, there will be a resolution and you and your person will get back together. The thing that you need to work on is, again, the abandonment issues. The reconciliation comes after the tension is healed. Wow. Yep. After you accept, move on, and heal from the past, then you'll be able to come forward and bring the message, the invitation, the text message, the phone call, however it is that we do up in these days, right? Okay, so wow, that was, that's so far, I'm gonna stop right there because um, I don't wanna tell too much because then it'll end up being what? A weekly read and I'm trying to do this as a daily tea, honey. But um, yeah, that's it. And I'm definitely gonna try to see if I can remember because by the time I start to upload these videos, I tend to forget some of the things that's in my mind to do. But um, um, to remind you of what's most important at this moment in order for you to get to the next step is to work on releasing those abandonment issues here because then the reconciliation begins, okay? Now, all right, you guys, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day here and be blessed. Peace.